Hello friends and welcome to episode, what is this, 9 of Storyteller Plays Vintage Story? Full disclosure real quick, this is not the first time. Ignore that, I was failing to uh, wave to the camera. This is actually not the first time I've started recording episode 9, but we did not miss a whole lot. I did a tiny bit of prospecting. I didn't find much, I'm going to be totally honest. I did find some Cassiterite ultra high on camera after following a guide, because I thought this was very high Cassiterite, but it's actually very high uh, hematite, hematite, whatever. It's only decent Cassiterite. So I actually found a bunch over here. And that part, there we go, 38 bountiful chunks, I did do on camera. Off camera, over here, I found a bunch of silver in quartz, but I mostly broke my pickaxe. And I'm going to want to use this to enter the Iron Age. So there's a couple of things I still need to do. Namely, and I need to get more organized, is I've got to make a bunch of axes. Because I need to ramp up my charcoal pit by quite a bit. What's in here? Here's all my silver. I didn't get a whole lot. I could have collected more. There's a lot more over there. But I didn't want to break my pick because I'm limited on copper. Which, if I open this... I did also find... Where did I find my copper? I think it's over here by the silver, actually. Somewhere. Where is the copper? I found copper somewhere. Uh, building materials guy? I don't even remember doing that. Anyway, I found copper. Doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to be on my map, so maybe I'm hallucinating. I'm going to make some axes, chop down some of these trees, and then we're going to get started on charcoal. Because, if I come over here, and it might be done, might not be. I don't know, I'm having trouble figuring out what I have and haven't done. Nope, looks like they're still burning. And who knows how much time they've actually got left. Oh, it's a deer. I'm making a bunch of fire clay, because I need to make bloomeries to start making iron. I don't know if my intentions are obvious here, but I plan on, instead of finding more copper to stay in the Bronze Age, I'm going to enter the Iron Age. Shovel. Here we go. Let's make an axe. Okay, then. I think a tree just grew on top of me. Which is fine. I'll use this shade to better nap the axe head. There we go. Oh, one of my oaks grew. I'm not going to use oak wood for firewood. I'm going to be cutting down pine and maple since I don't like how they look quite as much. So I'm going to use oak for building. Not that there's too much more I want to build in this area. I'm going to need to start heading north so that I can start another settlement. Probably like five or six thousand blocks. Maybe six or seven thousand because you can travel five thousand blocks in like a day. And I want all of my houses to be at least like a couple days travel apart, so that there's some sense of adventure. And being eaten alive by drifters at night time, because it seems to be constantly apocalyptic around here. Alright, that's four axe heads. It's calm right now, you're going to have to take my word for it. Go watch my previous episodes, it's basically always apocalyptic around here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a fan, I like the rifts. But I also have this strange habit of standing inside of the rifts. Which is not very good for one's temporal stability. Or viewing pleasure, really. I like the Rust world, but you couldn't do an entire Let's Play with zero stability. If you could, I would do it. I collect these. It doesn't matter so much to me that I'm able to continuously replant pine and maple. I should free up some inventory space. Like, is that my crucible? Why do I have that on me? I suppose between trips I'm going to have to... I even have my hammer on me. I don't know if it's obvious, but I'm not the most organized vintage story player. Sometime this week, maple tree. Can never have enough sticks. Alright, where's my current charcoal pit? Okay, I did eventually come back here and harvest the rest of the charcoal. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't. Okay, let's ramp up charcoal production by quite a bit. But which I mean I'm going one layer deeper. 
Okay, now dig a hole so I can actually get out of here. Let's go ahead and lean my pickaxe against this tree. I'm gonna hold on to my spear. Let's lean the hammer against the tree. Do I have stuff in here? I do. Clear quartz. Oh, rye seeds. I could have planted more of those. To go to this slush. I don't know why I'm holding on to that. Throw that in there. <gasps> my pelts! I knew I had more of those. I'm not the most organized person. I know I've said that before, but it remains true. Let's go ahead and chop up some firewood. Come on, swap these around. Each one of these is a stack. I'm not going to make you watch me cut down all of these trees. I mostly just wanted to get what I didn't record out of the way. I would have to pan for some gold. If I get one more gold nugget, which I don't have the three I've currently got on me, I can make something cool. But that can probably wait until I'm already in the Iron Age. I'm very likely just going to have to pan for that least last piece of gold. Uh, but I'm going to need candles as well, so I should start collecting this bony soil and panning that. Oh, no, I'm going to get back to chopping down some trees. Just not oak. Aw, it's a poor dead chicken. Or dead rooster. Partially eaten by another creature. These animals need to learn how to finish their food. Just feathers. Kind of a waste of inventory space at the moment, but... I've got a lot of feathers now. I could probably make arrows. I avoid combat, so I don't know what I would do with arrows. Especially if I've not made a bow yet. Pine log. That tree looks like a pain in the butt. I'll ignore it for now. I should also probably be checking these trees for resin, because there's a lot of resin in this area. And while it does regenerate, I don't want to cut down all of my resin trees, especially if I start actually needing that for something. It's a good thing I cut away a lot, otherwise y'all would have seen that I just tried to chop some low fertility soil into a uh, firewood. I don't know, I brought up the fact that I did that after saying that I will have cut it from the video. It's just a thing that I did. I probably should have just left my charcoal pit the same size for now. Who needs this much charcoal? I will. Inevitably. Anyway, let's just keep... Uh, really? I hurt myself from that fall? Let's just keep cutting down trees. I'm not going to usually show off uh, that I'm replanting trees. But I need to get these pine cones out of my inventory anyway, so would you look at that? I'm reforesting. This isn't just some weird deforestation attempt. Although I should look out for bears and wolves. They are a little bit all over the place. I'm going to have to make another axe really soon here, but check it out. I finished the first layer of my wood pile. I've not drawn attention to it yet, but the reason I'm only placing firewood down if I've got a full stack is because I would like to keep track of how many stacks I've got in here. I think that it would warn me if I was missing a partial stack, but I'm also pretty sure that it would make it impossible to burn it into charcoal. I should grab that other axe. That was over here somewhere. Yoink. I said yoink. There we go. I'm going to need to make another one before the charcoal pit is full, though. That's... Is that... Yeah. I think the maple seeds spin more when you throw them. Which is a thing that they do in real life. Like, you can drop a maple seed and it will helicopter its way down. I don't know what compelled me to check that. The heck is that? Oh, it's just m more logs. But the fact that I think the maple seed does spin more is actually a really cool attention to detail. Is it coincidence? Possibly. <gasps> My fire clay is done! I don't have the stuff on me to start another one, so I won't, but hell yeah. That's one of those things that I try to remember to do between episodes, but I just don't. Oh, there goes my uh, axe again. I gotta make another one of those.
Okay, only three more stacks, and then I'll have made all the firewood I need. That's loose flint. I do think I have flint on me, so I can make an axe head. But I'll just keep using um, granite, since I've got so much of it. Oh, you can hear wolves howling. Don't look at that thing up there behind my mini-map. I totally didn't start napping the wrong thing. Hard to tell, but it looks like I almost started making a hoe head. Yep, granite hoe head. Let's not look at it that, though. Just put my mistakes behind me. Maple log. Neither of my axes are in my hot bar. Oh, I should not fill that one in until I filled this one in. Otherwise, I would just have to dig it up just to get back to it. Whoops. No, oh, I'm going to have to dig it back up anyway. I am why I can't have nice things. There we go. Do I have enough dirt on me? I do. Low fertility soil. Put that in there. Of course, the reason I can't start firing more clay is that I don't have the stuff on me to start that. Let's go ahead. I just need a couple pieces of grass. And I don't have my torch on me, so I'm going to have to head back to my base anyway. Shut up, Rift. I'd like to see you do a better job, Rift. Okay, place that down. Fire pit in construction. It doesn't say for sure that this isn't an acceptable charcoal pit. Let me go grab my torch. Firewood. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Charcoal pit. Yep, it totally counts. Let me just put this in here. I've got bit of time before I gotta smother it. Let's go ahead and do that now. That's probably overkill, but I'm going to go ahead and put some around the edges as well. Just to be safe. Mm, perfect. Uh, I'm going to continue to ignore that hoe. Let's go ahead and grab these. I'm going to set up my bloomery somewhere near my house. Oh, is that another dead hair? Yeah, I think that's just another dead hair. Uh, my knife. I'm kind of curious as to what killed this one. I didn't. It wasn't partially eaten either, so something got to it. Let's go ahead and grab these. And my inventory's full, so I won't put the other clay, raw clay in the uh, pits. Let's go ahead and head back to my base. Hello there, hair. Are y'all running from something in specific, uh, particular? Is it those wolves? That's a lot of wolves. I would definitely break my spear if I tried fighting those, even if I lured them to water to make it easier on me. Whoops. All right, so there's a couple things I want to do in preparation. For one thing, let me go ahead and put my fire bricks in here, because I'm not going to do anything with them at the moment. Stone, I need my crucible. Fire bricks. I guess I only had the 60 of them, but you only need 12 or so to make a bloomery. Grab this guy. Throw that down there. Do I have any charcoal left? Yes. Not a whole lot, though. Let's go ahead and put this down. Ant. Oh, I left my hammer out there. It's whatever. Stoop hammer handle. Sticks. I know I've got a bunch of sticks. There we go. Hammer maid. Put this knife away. Grab this guy. Start heating that up because I'm going to have to make another chisel. Uh, tongs. At least I hope this works. If not, I'm about to break my anvil and I don't have the ability to make another one yet. While well, my tunic's condition is terrible, I'm going to have to figure out how to repair these things. There's a lot that I should and just don't know about the game. Anyway, that's hot enough to do what I'm doing. I just need to make another chisel. Chisel. Go ahead and boom. Walk it down. 
And hammer this flat. This isn't necessary. I can just break it off like this. But I will want those extra parts in case I break something I shouldn't. Like that. It almost looks like I did that on purpose, but now I'm just dumb. Okay, now let's be more careful. I only have so much copper. Now would be a pretty shitty time to mess up me. Perfect. I don't even know how necessary it is that I cool these things. That's probably cool enough. Let's pick it back up. Back into my house. I used so much charcoal for that. Yeah, I've got space in my inventory. Let's pick up my anvil. Yoink. Now I can put my anvil in here. Use a chisel. Break it into eight copper ingots. Yep, that destroyed my entire anvil. Break these into nugs. Which is destroying my current thang. Copper bits. Yeah, that should still work out. Um, my brain isn't working. Now that I've actually started doing what I'm doing, my brain is just failing me. Okay, so, open Firefox, go to Vintage Story, Alloy Calculator. I could have done this off camera, so I didn't seem so stupid. I am making tin bronze. And I'm making nine ingots. Would like to use as little tin as possible. So I need 128 pieces of copper and 15 tin, which I've totally got. So, my tin. Shut up, Drifters. I can hear you out there. 15 tin and several units of copper. 38. That'll stay in there. I have more copper somewhere. I hope I've got more native copper somewhere. I could have sworn I did. Let me check. That's my cassette, all right. Where is my copper? Did I make a boo boo? I don't know. Maybe I put it in the chest outside. I'll sleep till morning. Run for it, because my house is still surrounded by drifters. Look at them all. I could probably get a good amount of flax if I killed them all, but I don't have that kind of resources. I'll leave them alone for now. Let's go check on my charcoal pit. Hopefully running for my life and having to abandon my house and whatever I'm working on doesn't become a regular habit of mine. Look at those dogs. Whoops. Who put these trees here? It's totally possible I did. Yeah, the chuckle pit's still going. That's a lot of wolves. Just to be on the safe side. No, I did not leave my copper here. But that's fine, because now I'm just heading back to my house. Surely all those drifters are gone. What's the weather like? Apocalyptic. Surprisingly, my house is totally free of drifters. They got bored fast. What was that? Eh, just something in the water. Alright, back to what I was doing. My copper now. 900 units! Do I know what I did with my anvil mold? Yes, actually I do know where that is. Don't judge me. But my anvil mold is over here. How do I get underground? That'll probably get me underground, but that just looks like a hole straight down. Which is surely not how I was doing that. YOLO. Alright, my anvil mold. And my stairs. Alright, back to my house. 
which is not that far. I don't know why I got all quiet as if I was just going to cut to it. Put that down. I'm not going to waste the last of my eight charcoal getting this started like that. Let's go ahead and, for one thing, put my tongs away. Yeah, I'll need these again shortly. Alright, let's light this up. As soon as I have a bronze anvil, I'll be like most of the way to the Iron Age. I still have to make the bloomeries, which I don't have enough charcoal for. I'm working on that. And then I'm going to use the last of my copper pickaxe, which I left over there by my charcoal pit, to collect some iron to get me started. I've also got meteoric iron marked over here somewhere. That's a traitor. Where did I mark my iron? I marked the iron, right? Oh, yes, there it is. I need to use waypoints that are a tiny bit easier for me to see. <gasps> my turnips! They're done! Speaking of which, are my cabbages done? No. Cabbages have so many growth stages. They're highly nutritious foods, though. Like a red meat and cabbage stew will fill you up pretty darn good. Alright, throw my charcoal in there. Might as well throw all six. It's not going to need all six. I'll babysit it. It's fine. Look at it heating up. I'd rather make black bronze, but I still need gold. I know I just said I'd babysit that, but what did I do with my three pieces of gold? There they are. If I can get one more piece, I've got enough silver that I can make two black bronze nuggets. But then I need a candle. So after I'm done recording here, I'm probably just going to spend a tiny bit of time panning. And hopefully another temporal storm doesn't come. It's the 1st of July. I need some kind of mod that tells me how much time has actually passed. I don't know where my bowl is. That's fine, I'll just let that heat up quite a bit. Heck, I might not even have enough charcoal. That would be embarrassing. Especially when I just wasted a bunch of it. Heating up one ingot. Okay, that is still burning. Where did I put my pickaxe? Here we go. Might as well grab my other hammer while I'm over here. And I left my bowl over here as well. Come and pick it up. Let's go. I gotta get some food in me and then hopefully start mining. I want to make sure that I have enough actual charcoal in there. Not that there's anything I can do about it if I don't. Please be enough charcoal in there to melt all that. Alright, if that is going to be enough charcoal, it's going to be barely enough charcoal. I'm starting to think it might not be enough might be enough might not be enough though. That word's good. Why would I pick that up? Put it back. Yeah, that's not heating up very quickly. I might just be wasting more charcoal. There's definitely something splashing around in this water. That can't just be the sound of fish. Why would they be making so much noise? What's playing in the water? Yeah, if this is going to be enough charcoal, it's going to be close. There's nothing else I can throw on there that burns hot. That only burns at 600C. Whoop. Eight hundred, eight hundred. A chunk of that burns for 400, which is not enough. 
Come on, be enough, be enough. It's going to be cutting it extremely close. Sure would be fun to end this episode in anti-climax. Who knows, maybe my charcoal pit's done. I'd do an emergency charcoal run. Also, if you're wondering why I'm getting hungry so much faster, it's because I'm holding something in my offhand in sprinting and jumping everywhere. Nope, charcoal pit is still going. Yeah, look at that. Just barely not enough. If only I had a seventh piece of charcoal. Oh well, I'm going to have to pick this back up. Let's go ahead and uh, mine for iron, and then just pretend I didn't just waste minutes of my life and several pieces of charcoal. We'll just pretend that was on purpose. Let's put this back. Boop. Going back underground. If anybody needs me, I'm going to be deep in a depression. Come on, climb back up. But... Uh, da -da, don't need these underground. Might as well take that with me. I don't need my axe. Chisel. Uh, raw bush meat. That's going to be bad in less than an hour, but hey, you can never, never have enough rot. I'm going underground to mine away my sorrows. I'm coming back above ground to grab my torch so that I can go back underground and mine away my sorrows. Give me this. Just trying to close my door. There we go. Nope, that's a dead end. This is a large area I dug out looking for copper. It's not important. Here we go. I believe that my hematite is all the way down here. I can't imagine this is easy to watch. I should just cut at the hematite. There it is. I need to be careful. Let's go ahead and dig away back out before I start digging my way down. I hear scary noises. Yeah, there's drifters down here somewhere. But that's fine. I'm not leaving the safety of my tunnels. Unless the drifters are in my tunnels. I do have to be very careful not to accidentally ruin my stairwell out of here. Imagine getting stuck underground. Ooh -hoo -hoo. What is that? Is that saltpeter? They're throwing rocks at me. The jerks! Anyway, I think I found where I hear the drifters coming from. It is pretty risky digging it that hole like that, because if there's any um, locusts down there, they can climb walls. But it'll be fine. I've got a spear on me. What I don't have on me is a brain that can remember the word spear quickly, though. Oh, hey. Yeah, that is Saltpeter. Well, hello there. Looks like there's some nightmare drifters fighting each other to the death now. Ow. Jerks. Uh-oh, leg spike. I'm not saying I don't deserve to have rocks thrown at me. But that's antisocial behavior, drifters. Maybe I was being a tiny bit voyeuristic, just watching them like that. Okay, I don't look good, no matter how you spice it. That's a phrase, right? I'm just going to keep digging this up until my pickaxe breaks, and then I'll return to the surface. Mourn the last of my tin bronze anvil that could have been. On a positive note, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a good amount of iron still down here. When I come back with an iron pickaxe. I should try to avoid digging into the walls like this, but when I see bountiful iron, I gotta pick it up. I am slightly worried that they're going to find a way up here, though. There are a lot more of them than there are of me. And all I've got is a spear. This iron vein goes on forever. Hematite, in particular. Like, if you can find one or two good veins of hematite, you're good for the rest of your life. 
Maybe not quite that dramatic, but... Like, look how much there is here. Still going, but my pickaxe hasn't broken yet. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. Now let's see if I can figure out how I intended to get out of here. Yeah, that's easy enough. Here's my hole. Climb the hole. Uh oh. I didn't make this easy on myself. Hmm. How am I going to get out of here? I have an idea. Need more. There we go. Just use an entire stack of firewood. It's better than being trapped down here for the rest of my life. Here's the stairwell up. I'm not going to make you watch me traverse this because it's not easy to do or watch, I'm sure. Ow. Mm, brief intermission. A nightmare drifter did make it onto my stairwell. Dude hit me once. Look how much damage he did. Alright, he hit me like twice. One and a half times. I think one of those was a rock. There are defensive pieces of clothing I could make, but I haven't done that yet. Also, here I am, talking, while trying to climb my stairwell. Like I said, I would try to avoid doing. Alright, I just need to get out of here. Nope, that doesn't go anywhere. Here we go. That doesn't go anywhere. And I'm out! I would like to play on a multiplayer server, but... My structures are so poorly conceived that I think they'd offend someone. Gonna need some food. That was the last of my prepared food. Actually, I think I still got some pie in my cellar. Let me go check. Mm, pie. Fresh for 19 days. Yeah, I'll end up eating those. Fresh for three days. I tried making wine. I think I showed that off, but I failed. I... Said I would look up a video on how to actually do it. I didn't do that. So, whoops. Is it done? I don't want to break it open if it's not done. I don't see any smoke rising, though. Heck yeah, charcoal! Do I have a shovel around here? I don't think I've got one pre-made. Uh couple spears. Right, I'm gonna make a shovel. Shovel acquired. I'm going to go ahead and dig this all up now. It's not like I'm still racing against the clock. The tin bronze I already started making has long since cooled down completely. I'm going to have to restart that. I don't have the attention span to continue collecting this stuff. Ah, oh, 58 pieces of charcoal. That is enough to get me started. On the Iron Age. I don't know, I think that would be a more impressive thing to start, start doing on the episode uh, 10. On the episode 10. In episode 10. I don't know if it's obvious, but my brain is just not working. But then again, when is it? All right. Nine units of tin bronze. It's already warm. Or cold. Warm would be a good thing. Let's go ahead and put these here. Start firing that again. I'm a fire in my laser. Oh, actually, did it fully melt? Put that back in there. I don't think it did. But if I can pour that, I'm taking it. Pick it back up. Can I pour this? No, of course I can't. Makes sense. Put this back. I gotta reheat it. Mm, 
Maybe it did fully melt, and I was just underground, sulking about it. No, that can't be accurate. Anyway, what was I doing? I'm going to grab... my fire clay bricks, open my crafting menu. Let's see here, what is... like that? Like this. Yes. Bloomery base, and I believe the chimney is just four like that. Yep. Ah, uh, let's make two. Chimney. They don't stack. Good thing I'm only planning on making two. And base. All about that base. Bloomeries don't have to be kept under a shade, do they? I don't think so. It's been so long since I've actually entered the Iron Age. I think I've entered the Iron Age a total of once. Let's go ahead and slap that on there. Slap that on there, just because. Let's go ahead and give them a roof. I need more soil. Surely I've got a bunch of dirt in one of my chests. I'm taking up space I don't need to be being taken up by dirt. That's just how I roll. Look at that. So much dirt. Boom. Just in case I'm giving them a roof. Come on. Come on. Perfect. I don't... I'm not prepared to put my iron in there. Alright, that reached... At the peak. Let's go ahead and put... I'm gonna put eight in there just because six was just barely not enough. Close this door. I can come out here. Hopefully this grass doesn't catch fire. My stuff's not too flammable. Ooh, crystallized chunk of hematite. Mm, crushed with a hammer to extract nuggets. Let's go ahead and... Bountiful, bountiful. I'll break my smaller pile. Keep the big pile as a pile for now. Alright. How much of these can go in a bloom? I guess I'll just keep going until it's full. Okay, it can hold 120 nugs. Let's go ahead and fill this guy up as well. I'm going to need to break more nugs. I can put in multiple. This is faster. Smash more nugs. 32. That's not what I was trying to do. Me. Come on. Perfect. I'm still being pretty irresponsible with my inventory space. Charcoal. Only six pieces. Let's go ahead and light these. And then check on my anvil. Or I guess the... Is that lit? Yes. I'll guess... I'll check on the bronze that is going to become my anvil. Alright. I'm excited. There's a very important reason why I need this bronze anvil. Yep, it's hot enough. Let's go ahead and pick it up. I'll throw my bowl on the ground because I didn't plan this ahead. Look at that white hot metal. Thing of beauty. Let's go ahead and take these. I did not need that much charcoal in the end. Alright. I guess there's not a whole lot more I need to do except sleep. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Because I've accomplished a lot. Not a whole lot. If anything, I just showed off how unorganized I was for like... 40 minutes or however long this video ends up being after it's edited down. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and fizzity farewell.